Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are making Ofora or Oha, depending on what you call it. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Oha soup is the favorite of almost everyone in my house and today I share how to make it. But before we start, I want to say a very big welcome to everyone. If this is your first time here, I want to specially thank you for tuning in. Please consider subscribing. Thank you. And to my returning subscribers, you guys are the best. Now let's get cooking. I already have a fano, which is intestine inside the pot. Next, I added beef and pomo. I seasoned this with just two cubes and salt. And then I added enough water and I allowed it to cook until it was soft. I have my crayfish, two cubes and salt. I have palm oil, dried mangala fish. I have ojiri sea. Personally, I think there is no oha soup or edi soup without ogiri. I have peppers and oziza leaves. And over here, I have the main vegetable for this soup, which is the oha leaves. These leaves are green and very fresh. This is how I pick and cut my oha leaves. I take some and then I shred them with the tip of my fingers. Oha leaf is a very soft vegetable and knife marks can make them dark. hot water over the mangal and I set aside. My ede, which is kokoyam, is already washed so I will cook until it is soft. I use mortar to pound the ede, but if you prefer you can use a blender. It makes it easier and faster and either way you get the same results. The meat has been cooking for about 30 minutes and I added more water to it. The water will serve as my soup base. I just added my mangala fish, blended fresh peppers and palm oil. Aku, which is palm nut extract, can be used in place of palm oil. After adding the oil, I stirred everything and then I covered the pot and I allowed it to cook for about 10 minutes. The next ingredient to go into my pot is the ogiri. Ogiri is a game changer when making it a soup. Immediately after adding the ogiri soup, the aroma in my kitchen changed. Next, I added the grounded crayfish. I let it cook for about 10 minutes before adding the ede. When scooping ede into the pot of soup, it doesn't come off easily because ede is quite sticky. What I usually do is to dip the spoon into the pot of soup. This makes it to come off more easily. There's this saying that after adding ede into the pot of soup, and when stirring, you have to prevent your spoon from getting to the bottom of the pot because that will surely make the soup to get burnt. What are your thoughts on this? I'd love to read them. Cover the pot and cook until the edder dissolves completely. Oha soup doesn't have to be too thick, so I added water to loosen it up a bit because mine was quite thick. I added stock cubes and salt at this point and this was because I wanted to taste for salt because we already used ogiri which is a local spice that contains salt. Back in the day they substitute ogiri for stock cubes 
but you know people of this generation cannot do without stock cubes i didn't say that finally it's time for me to add my uziza leaves and oha leaves i cooked for an additional two minutes and here we have it our pot of oha soup which swallow do you think will go best with this soup your comments in the comment section i would love to read them please don't forget to like and share this video thank you for stopping by and see you in my next one bye